And then once we have enough sap, we're going to run it through this machine right here. This is one of the key pieces that really help us be efficient. This is a reverse osmosis machine. And if you've ever heard of reverse osmosis uh, for like your household drinking water, this kind of works the same way. As the sap comes in, it's actually forced through two membranes under high pressure. And the membranes have little holes in them, and the holes are large enough to allow a water molecule to pass through, but all the sugar molecules get stuck to the outsides of the membranes. And so what happens is, you have these two lines that are coming out. Now the blue line, that's pure water. So the water that was able to pass through the membrane gets separated out, and we actually take this water, and we put it into a big tank that's in the next room there. And because it's such great water, it has absolutely no mineral content to it at all, we actually use it here in the sugar house to wash all our dishes and clean our floors and clean all of our equipment. So we don't want it to go to waste, so we store it. Now the green tube, that's what we're most interested in, that is now super concentrated sap. So as I'm passing the sap through the reverse osmosis, it actually removes about half of the water. So instead of it taking me 43 gallons of sap to make a gallon of maple syrup, using the reverse osmosis, it now only takes me about 22 gallons of sap to make a gallon of maple syrup. So cuts my boiling time in half, cuts my firewood usage in half, really kind of really makes things efficient for us.